was yet another 10 rounder With Wilbert McClure ahead on all the judges scorecards Aiming for an upset over the Hurricane The 4th ranked middleweight In the Aragon Ballroom of course we're looking into the late 1960s On January the 8th 1966 Ruben Hurricane Carter and Skeeter McClure would face off in Chicago Wilbert McClure was an Olympic gold medalist, light middleweight champ, and turned pro in 1961 with the pretty boy features against the most ruggedly handsome Hurricane, even though his boxing style would be troublesome for Carter, since we wouldn't have troubles with quicker fighters like that of Luis Rodriguez in the past, the Hurricane would still pull through a draw by knocking down McClure in the seventh and the second belt. Hurricane's words, Skeeter boy, did I love the dog. He turned out to be one of the best pals I ever had. He had a heart of gold and was a pleasure to be around and talk to. There was not a mean bone in his body and he was a terrific and skilled fighter. His amateur career, winning an Olympic gold medal at the 1960 Rome Games, says it all. He was a brilliant man and achieved a PhD in psychology. I was always proud of the dog. We fought twice. The first one was in Chicago. I ended up winning a split decision. What I remember about that fight was my manager started complaining about Skeeter's weight on the scales. He made an issue of it and McClure had to lose some weight and come back. I left and went to the men's room. I'm standing at the urinal and Skeeter comes in trying to piss out some water weight. We go to wash up and you can hear a pin drop. Just me and him in there alone. Two guys who are going to try and kill each other in the ring scene. I liked him, and I did not press the weight issue. So I said to him, hey old buddy, I'm sorry about this bullshit. It was not me, he said. I know that, Rube. It's no problem. I liked him immediately. He had that aura about him. You had to like this guy. He was a tall and rigid, it could move like the flash in there. He had a good jab, but I got to him with some hard body shots and took the split decision. We fought hard and shook hands afterwards, which is the way it's supposed to be in boxing. <laughs>